So this episode is all about the four epic days that we spent in Romania with Antti from Stunts Freaks team. It was super, super crazy trip. We did like hundreds of kilometers of riding, seeing this abandoned hotel. There's river beds, there was hill climbs, there was everything. So me and Antti, we both live in Finland. And the first we need to get to Romania. And let's go back in time and you will see how I got there. So first I needed the plane tickets and that was pretty simple. Our host would be Adrian from Nomad Adventures. He's a super cool guy and we did some planning before the trip. Hey, Plandezu! Hey, hey Adrian! How are you? How are you? Ah, fine, thank you. It's lovely weather here in Romania, man. Oh, great. Awesome. We are coming there in two days. Oh, yeah. I was just checking now, Dave. I, I just remember that all the Finnish guys are coming. So I have been using GoPros for like the last six years. And right before the trip, GoPro released their new camera. GoPro released the new Hero 7, like in two weeks ago. And I first saw the release video. I was like, this is not gonna be a GoPro for me yet. Now we are going to pick it. And I think the stabilization is super great in that camera or what I have seen from the from the reviews and from the stuff that people have made in it, to YouTube. I can't wait to wait to try it. Now we are at the store. And I will go and release the money. Here it is. So in the morning of the flight, I packed all my things and went to the Helsinki airport. Always late. I need this. <laughs> but I don't need it anymore. <laughs> this, way, this way, my friend. I know how to speak German. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is our private jet. Not finished yet. <laughs> this shit. back. <laughs> the worst gear back you can buy. Five out of five. Or seven. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Both man. Both man. <laughs> So yeah, we are arrived here oh, and oh, Antti oh, and Adrian is watching yeah, the bikes. We are going to be riding tomorrow a lot. So Antti, how do you feel? Oh, I'm pretty happy right now. It's like my garage by seven bikes more. We haven't, we haven't done anything yet. I haven't seen Anything yet because it's dark outside, it's night, but I know that it's gonna be epic, epic adventure. <laughs> He's a good dude. Mm. A little bit retarded, <laughs> but... <laughs> now we're going to go to sleep and let's see you tomorrow morning.
Our goal on the first day was to get me and auntie used to the, all the uphills and downhills and, and the bikes and environment. Like, so that we could easily ride all the four days. In the morning, we thought that it's going to be an easy day. Really nice weather. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Marek is already, like, almost going there. He's our Polish guide today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and our guides are already yelling there that let's go. So let's, let's head to the hills now. The first day of riding, Auntie is looking like a Chinese tourist there. I, was, I got a new boot, I washed my <laughs> all my riding gear. If you want to change anyway, I have the boots with me and during the ride you see, hey, I want a little bit more or up or something like that from the setting boot. Auntie is in front of me. I hope you are having a fantastic day wherever you are. I think we are going to have a fantastic day here. After my Mikuni 250, this thing feels always like a four-star. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be back here. I know. <laughs> I try to. Like Bokus when I'm riding, but it's pretty hard when you got forest like days, you know? How is it? This is unreal. Now we can only shut the engines and just glide. This is like uh, mountain biking with, with little bigger bikes. Here is some shepherd drugs. They are they are like super super careful of their own property and they are keeping the sheep where they should be. <laughs> How do you how do you think about the views? Pretty cool, right? On top of the world. <laughs> Not yet. There is still this uphill. I hope you can see this with one hand. Man, it's really <laughs> beautiful. Look, what do you see now? This is uh, like uh, 800 meters height, and these are small villages in this area. They have orchards here, like they grow apples and they have small uh, farms like cows and sheep and all this stuff and you will find this in all this area, you will find these remote places and as you can hear, only me talking now, but if you stop for a while you will not hear anything, so it's so quiet and silent, life is so easy here in Romania, you know. The views are like this, They're, it's like... It's insane. Every time you come here, you are amazed by the views. Super cool. It's just, it's just what you see. It's lovely. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do here and enjoy the enjoy the dirt bike world. <laughs> he is not not angry, but. He's not angry, but we don't like want to go. Yeah, this dirt bike. Yeah, they yeah. are like it's it's his home. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you imagine? It's his home and four dirt bikes coming yeah. <laughs> from the woods. Yeah, I totally understand that. <laughs> what the <laughs> f we have here? <laughs> We're going up on the mountains again, and here's some rocks. Let's see if I can make it, like save this thing. I need to, I need to be on the both backs of the bike. You have to give every 
single, single cram of your body to the bike. What? <laughs> if you are ever day dreaming about a holiday with your, let's say, with your dirt bike, you should definitely come and see the Romanian countryside. But there's horses, wild horses on the on the forest. Really nice, dude. Oh man, sick views. Yeah. This bike run like super great. I'm not used to. <laughs> Mine is like the thing, the thing, the thing. The thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, beautiful restaurant you have here. So yeah, we are here. We were here to make yes. make a little stop and to eat and drink and do some drone stuff and and chocolate and chocolate. We are going to continue now and <laughs> ciao. Ante is doing really well. Man, you are doing really well this. <laughs> no, 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 you have the skills with the bike. <laughs> yes. No. Whoa, whoa. Tip it on the side, yeah. Maybe it's best to tip it on the side. And then just pull the rear tire to the side. I hope you can see it from the video, guys. Yeah, I hope but this, <laughs> this is like, if you watch this straight line. Oh, <laughs> Almost. No. Almost. <laughs> yes. Su. Yes. We are heading to the. For the compound, Nomad Adventure compound now. Lock training. <laughs> that was nice. How that even happened? Or on the rear? I don't know which one is better. What the hell? There is our meal running in the street. Thank you. With one hand. Romanian hill climb. <laughs> yeah, look at this. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. How's the views? <laughs> yeah. Really nice. Very close home. Yes. Really nice. Really, really, really good. Well, we made it back home. Yeah. Alive. And not even broken. Yeah. Or anything. We're gonna refuel the bike. Ah. And wait what they have tomorrow. The goal on day number two was to ride until the sunset. And to find this amazing hill where you can see the sunset like properly. Oh, no.
Welcome to Stumpfreak's team kitchen. <laughs> now we're gonna do epic sandwich, what I will take with me on the mountains. And there it is. Bang, bang, it's ready. <laughs> and now we are ready to spend the whole day at the mountain. Look at this place. Yeah. Simba, <laughs> everything what you see. You can ride everywhere, almost. <laughs> Look at that break. suspension. Yes. That's from a, I think that's from a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so heavy, so big, yeah. That's a good from animal. Suspension. This day we are going to be like filming more and riding more in the same spot. So let's see how it goes. There is some techno. Yo, 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 what's up? Testing the GoPro, unbelievable audio. Look at that audio system. <laughs> this is all you need if you want to capture speech to the to the writing videos. It's, yeah. it's really simple. All you need to do is buy this uh, small box, cost like 50 euros, then buy a microphone, cost like 30 euros, and then just pray that it works. Today we're gonna add some smoke, some two-stroke oil, some rocks, some uh, up here, some down here some uh, big pieces of wood, some water, because we are, yeah, yeah, not as muddy as I want it to be, because the weather is so great. Everything. Boy, I did the wrong line in the <laughs> right from the beginning. I know this is a good place to practice uphill. Yes. And it's like over 45 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, these type of hills are like super easy. Some 300 powers, eh? <laughs> you did good! <laughs> I was just sitting there and praying traction guard for more traction. <laughs> <laughs> Potato, potato. Yeah, yeah. Adrian is there. Yeah. Why? How? <laughs> what the? He just went there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
It didn't go as I planned it. Whoa! <laughs> Man, you are drifting with the bike. Just like that. <laughs> really nice. Alexi, what? thumbs up. Very, well. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> now how the f we are going to get down here? Look how steep that is. I don't even lie with my camera like this. Look, this hill is insane. Yeah. Now you can really see from this camera. Like, not even see it. <laughs> Gas, gas! Hey Alexi! What? Go on Nancy's side! Okay, and then slide down. Yes, but be careful, there are some wood stairs. You need to come here and yes. experience this. We have our bikes here, there's the sunset, we are pretty high here. I'm gonna enjoy the sunset now, so we'll see you again tomorrow. Third day started by loading the bikes to the van, because our goal was to go onto this totally new place that was pretty far away. So we have the third day starting here, we are going to this amazing place. Or what do you think, Auntie? Will it be amazing? We're gonna go swim. We're gonna see some art on the cliffs. Not so much like hard enduro right. ri riding maybe today. Easy. Easy, cheesy. And now from there. Yeah, that's it. Be careful with <laughs> Next year when you come back, guys. Yeah. This is what we do now. We're gonna start from here on the bikes and <coughs> go there uh, on the bikes directly. Yeah, to the place where we are going today. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna go directly on bikes. How many kilometers there? It will be 100 kilometers there and back. No, no, just to go there. Okay. So at the moment, I'm still working on the track. I have to do like three versions of the track. I have the hardest version of the track that was part of the Red Bull Romania race when they come in the first years they had part of this track because they were coming even on this side so part of the track we will use that but I need to do like three versions of track because it has to be uh, suited for all type of the riders you know how do you how do you reckon is this better than your Hiase? no and Hiase you can fit a Two dirt bikes, street bike and a minicross bike easily. We have a Volkswagen now. Yeah. So it's a people car. <laughs> this is not a bike car. <laughs> it's for people. 
I show you my fruit dealer. So oh. This is the way I'm getting fruits from the mountain. Oh. This man is coming every two weeks and he's bringing. I give him fuel. All right. I give him some two liters of fuel. Oh. And he's giving me fresh fruits from the forest. Oh, they are not the best looking yeah. up, uh, peaches, but uh, they're they original. They <laughs> <laughs> Big city, smell the cage, you know it's dirty, you never can get enough. Taking names, digging graves, pull the trigger, and walk away. It's just the cost to be the boss. This is the payoff. What is it? What do you say? Why are you heavy for this? Now we have to we have to take the rock with us. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's let's pause it here. The plan was to get the bigger boat at first, but we made we got the small one. Because of the big waves, it was so close that this whole thing didn't sink to the bottom of the river. On the left side, there on the left side will be something. No. Thank you! Ready? Okay. Yep! And we went to the boat trip, as you saw. <laughs> After the river stuff, we went to seek for the new hill climb. What do you think, Alexis? Should we try? To go there or should we take the trees down from here? I think we should go over that rock. It's so soft there. I will come and help you. Yes, wait. I'm holding the front brake. Okay. Okay. Yep. One small step for a man. Ooh. Big step for the human time. Wait. Which speed? Front tire over to the, that, that ditch or the thing. Go like did it did. Nice. Nice. No mud, no fun. Orda uudesta! I don't know where we are going now. Maybe in that direction. Yeah, jump that tree. I will Man 
Lumber Jack is here. Anti slumber checking. It's like so steep here. Searching now for Anti because he's nowhere. We can't hear him. I don't know where those are. Somewhere up there. And the problem is that I can't go down. Monty! No! Monty! Yeah, we found him. <laughs> Have no skills anymore to ride here. I did not want to move because I almost slide down there. So I didn't want to even try anymore. All right, yeah. Great, you are in one piece. Yeah, yeah, That's this is... Cool. Man. I, had, I had like two choices. I try, I fail and I hurt myself or I just wait. Yeah, <laughs> good. <You're> so. good. <laughs> Rolling him down there. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye. Look what is there! Oh boy! No. <laughs> We are going to go and swim in the swimming pool and relaxing on a sauna, so... Uh, finally we are... Down! Finally we are down! Anti is still alive. First time in my No skill anymore. I shouldn't be here. Now, now the limit. Now I have reached the limit and I can't go any further. Yeah. And we enjoyed the hill climb. <laughs> and the bitches, and everything, bitches, and the bitches, oh, orange bitches, bitches, and the white. No, 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 my hand. <laughs> Just easy, easy. My friend, oh. Yeah. Yeah, the Finnish sauna. Finnish sauna in Romania. We had just Finnish <laughs> sauna. <laughs> Grande the mucho <laughs> and uh, sauna after a hard enduro day. Perfecto, perfecto. I feel relaxed now. I'm ready for tomorrow. We, we will go back to our home now, and that's two hours of riding. So yeah, thanks for joining us again on this crazy day. We'll see you. So the final day was our most 
anticipated day. This is the last morning. Last morning here we are going to go to the hotel and final morning. Muy bueno. Adrian will take us to this amazing abandoned hotel in this old ski resort. So last day here in Romania, Adrian will show us this hotel where we can actually ride. It's like coast house. Hey, why this is a, why this is empty? This uh, this has been a beautiful place. We have arrived now. Pretty cool looking place. Adrian, can you can you tell what this place is? So basically, this is an abandoned hotel. It was functional until the 90s, and after the communist regime fell down, the building was abandoned. It. This hotel was basically for a ski resort. We are here in a ski resort now and during the winter time here was a lot of people but now there are only two houses that they are working in the winter time so there's not the big tourism here in the area. This year happened that a good friend of mine, a French photographer Jean-Christian Tirat and myself we come one day here and we just looking on this place and uh, having the idea yeah we should do something about this because nobody's doing anything inside here. If you look all the buildings what here is, I can just imagine the place when it was like new. Yeah. Because this place has been awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. This was not a good thing that the place is abandoned, but we yeah. try to do now something, yeah, yeah. you know? Now we're gonna have fun inside with yeah. the airplanes. <laughs> so if you look inside, the, the idea of the hotel is like a labyrinth. Go inside here, you go on the left, you visit all that uh, left side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hotel tour. Uh, Cafe latte, You have to pass on the right side to go in the corridor. Yeah, here is all of the rooms. Uh, 4.8 seconds. Wow, man. You know, 
and from there you come down yeah. and you come down here on that stairs and after that small path that it's gonna go through some stones behind the hotel. Yeah. Yeah, was epic like four days. Yeah, bro, it was really good. Yep. We had to basically hurry back to the house because our plane was leaving on the afternoon. The Hero 7 camera worked like okay in this trip. It did some, some weird uh, glitches and there was some freezing. Uh, what happened here was the GoPro messed up the audio somehow and like, I did almost like three hours of filming every single day. It worked like 99%. Finland or you yeah. stay here this is the ride. so yeah goodbye in Romania for now thank you everyone for watching this whole video I hope you enjoyed this little longer episode this time if you aren't already subscribe now hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and we'll see you in the next one Yeah. <laughs>